The Miracle Year One person, in one year, revolutionized physics. A then 26-year-old Albert Einstein, published four papers in 1905. They established 20th century physics as we know it. This year is called Einstein's Miracle Year. March, explained the photoelectric effect, discovered photons. May, explained Brownian motion, established existence of atoms. June, published special relativity, showed time is not what we thought. September, proved mass energy equivalence, mass is energy. Nearly every equation in physics describes relationships between time, space, energy and mass. With these papers, Einstein revised our understanding of them all. Some millennia-old ideas were vindicated, others vanquished. Einstein proved the existence of atoms, which had remained an unproven theory since the time of the ancient Greeks. Together with mass-energy equivalence, the atomic age was born. Einstein also settled an equally long-standing debate as to whether light was composed of particles or waves. By showing that light is made of particles, he established the field of quantum mechanics. Most of our electronic and digital technology is based on quantum mechanics. See, our episode does everything that can happen actually happen. But perhaps, the most significant paper of Einstein's miracle year was on the electrodynamics of moving bodies. It established special relativity, and flipped on its head our understanding of space and time. Special Relativity Any of Einstein's Miracle Year papers could have earned a Nobel Prize. But in 1921, the prize committee chose to award Einstein not for special relativity, but for his paper on the photoelectric effect. Special relativity, and its consequences, were just too strange. In the 1920s, decades after Einstein published his theory, still no experiment had been done to confirm it. And so, while believed true by most physicists, special relativity remained controversial. Overturning Tradition Special relativity overturned an idea espoused by Newton, and believed since Euclid, who established geometry in 300 BC. This was the idea that time and space are absolutes. Meaning, they are constant, fixed, independent of all things, and universally agreed upon. If time is absolute then everyone should agree on the order of events. Moreover, everyone should agree on what exists and happens in the present moment of time. Absolute time also implies that time flows at the same rate for everyone. But relativity forces us to give up all these ideas. The rate time flows, the order of events, and even the content of the present are no longer absolutes, but relative. Different observers may disagree on all these facts, but they can all be right, from their own relative viewpoints. Under relativity, time is not a rigid clockwork that runs the universe. It melts away to something more mercurial. Time becomes something that we can alter our speed and direction through. Strange Predictions of Special Relativity If we thought time was strange, it only gets stranger with relativity. Relativity can be traced to a thought Einstein had at 16. He wondered, what would it be like to ride alongside a beam of light? By the age of 26, Einstein had worked it all out. But the consequences were bizarre. Special relativity made the following predictions. 1. The faster something goes, the slower time passes for it time dilation. 2. The faster something goes, the shorter it becomes. Length contraction. 3. Clocks agreeing at rest, disagree in motion. Clock desynchronization. 4. The order of events in time is not absolute. Relativity of simultaneity. In Einstein's theory, the speed of light is absolute. Every observer agrees on the constancy of the speed of light. But for this to be true, 
we must abandon space and time as absolutes. When time is not absolute, observers can disagree on the rate time flows and we get time dilation. Likewise, when space is not absolute, observers can disagree on distances and we get length contraction. Together, this creates disagreement on what happens when and where, leading to clock desynchronization and relativity of simultaneity. Speeds we generally consider high, like the speed of sound, are slow compared to the speed of light. An object breaking the sound barrier travels at just 0.0001% the speed of light. Since relativistic effects are negligible when velocities are small, it took decades before any of these predictions could be tested.